Do you ever have a book report that you have to study for, but you really just don't want to do it at all whatsoever? Well, there's an update for Ezra Miller. That's an option I present people always. Hi. I can always just knock you out, and then you won't have to panic. Right. You just gotta knock you just let out. me know. Yeah. No? Yes? What? <laughs> if you stare into the they them, the they them stares back at you. Well, I am reluctant to do this video. I've got to tell you how many times I have tried to not make this video. Look, I don't enjoy this. I'm going to tell you this. I don't like going down this psychopathic pathway and unraveling of, a, of an actor's mind. I don't like it. But for some reason, for some reason, you guys do like it. So here we go. An update for Ezra Miller. If you haven't watched my first two Ezra Miller videos, they're linked in the description there. Well, I just kind of went through the, the weird scenarios that led up to the first instance of a parent coming out and accusing him of abuse. Well, there was a second instance of another parent coming out and saying that he maybe groomed their daughter as well. And uh, I kind of left it there and I was like, you know, maybe he maybe he won't do anything crazier. Maybe he will just stop right here. Well, uh, it happened again. Let's get into it. <laughs> Now this, this one, it just gets crazier, man. Now we have an entire family being held at his farm. Willingly, willingly being held. I'm not going to say like this is a hostage situation, but there might be a pattern is what I'm trying to say. There might be a pattern in the thinking of the people that he has under his wing. June 23rd, guns, bullets, and weed. Ezra Miller's housing three young children and their mother at Vermont Farm. Sources claim the living conditions at the Flash Stars farm are unsafe for children, alleging there are weapons lying around and that a one-year-old put a loose bullet in her mouth. Ezra Miller has been hosting a 25-year-old mother and her three young children at the Vermont farm, a living arrangement that worries the children's father. Two sources with knowledge of the situation expressed concern to the Rolling Stone that it is an unsafe environment for children, alleging there are unattended guns strewn around the home on Miller's 96-acre property. One source who, like the others, request anonymity for fear of retribution. This is a pattern. This is a trend. <laughs> Every person that reports on him doesn't want to be known. Now, this could be, I'm going to benefit of the doubt here. This could be because maybe they're making all this shit up. Maybe. Maybe it just happens to be a very consistent pattern of people making things up. We've seen it happen before. I'm just throwing it out there. That's a possibility. But giving his uh, kind of strange habits and outbursts being arrested for assault we'll get to that later with the the woman getting choked a little bit later these are very consistent patterns across the board the person that he's grooming at the current moment is totally infatuated and doesn't even see the fact that he's that they're being groomed there's people outside of that person that's being groomed that is like i'm concerned for this situation it's very strange why is this person giving my loved one a bunch of free things and flying them across country done this multiple times we will continue one source who like the others requested anonymity for fear of retribution recalled an instance where one of the children a one-year-old alleged picked up a loose bullet and put it in her mouth but the mother like the father rolling stone is not naming claims that miller had helped her escape from a violent and abusive ex quotations helped me finally have a safe environment for my three very young children Ezra's ranch has been a healing haven for us, she tells Rolling Stone. He may have firearms for self-defense purposes, and they are stored in a part of the house that the children can never go in. My kids are able to relax more into their healing because of the safety and nurturing Ezra has been providing for them. This is very similar verbiage that Gibson Iron Eyes saying, this is somebody, this is my comrade, and they helped me out whenever I was down in my luck, and I still find them, they're very comforting very consistent across all of these accusations and situations very consistent patterning anything illegal happening again allegedly i don't know the mother and children age one to five have been living at miller's stamford vermont farm since mid-april in the midst of the unfolding crisis the children's father claimed that miller secured a flight out of Hawaii for the woman and her children, alleged without the father's knowledge. He claims he had not been able to see or speak with his children since their departure. I got a bad feeling in my stomach, 
the father says. I do want to get my kids. They mean the fucking world to me. Representatives for Miller did not reply to a request for comment. <laughs> <laughs> I bet they didn't. I bet they did not. The mother said she is still living at Miller's farm with her children. The two sources who confirmed seeing children there with their mother describe it as a chaotic environment that is unsafe for children. Video footage in April reviewed by Rolling Stone appears to show at least eight assault weapons, rifles, and handguns lying around the living room with some weapons propped up next to a pile of stuffed animals. So definitely not in an area that the children can't get to. I would like to see this footage, by the way. Rolling Stone, why aren't you letting me see this footage? The two sources also allege that there has been frequent and heavy marijuana use in front of the children with little concern about proper ventilation. Rolling Stone has also learned that there is a sizable cannabis farm on Miller's property with Miller's close friend and purported handyman, Whitney Sutters, claiming on social media that the two were running a cannabis company called Rebel Alliance Cannabis. <laughs> Dude, this, what is happening, dude? He's got, he's, he's got like brainwashed people. He's got guns. He's got marijuana everywhere. Oh, he's got a whole pot farm. Now look, I am a freedom loving American. I believe in the second amendment and your 420 amendment, not within reach of children. That was the latest one, but let's go back. One scenario where Ezra Miller was filmed choking a lady and taking her to the ground. Well, that lady, decided to speak up. Ezra Miller accused of harassing woman in Germany, an Iceland choking victim breaks her silence. In the spring of 2020, as the COVID crisis was rapidly becoming a global pandemic, Ezra Miller began wearing out his welcome in Iceland. This dude is a globe-trotting fiend. He's just causing havoc everywhere he goes. Iceland, Hawaii, Vermont, this motherfucker is going everywhere and assaulting everyone. So Ezra Miller was in Iceland filming the Wizards of Waverly Place part three, and he was just going to bars like, I guess like he does and assaulting people just at, at random. Ezra Miller became a regular at a bar in Iceland's capital. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that where locals came to know him and even befriend him. Many recognized Miller from his earliest breakout films in 2012, The Perks of Being a Wallflower in 2011's We Need to Talk About Kevin. Let's, let's not talk about that film. We need to talk about Kevin Miller then 27 also started to show a different volatile side to his personality One that began to concern Icelanders. There was always something with Ezra said Carlos Rayner then a bartender at the I don't know how to speak Icelandic a pub located in the heart of Give me a break. The bartender said he intervened in two altercations involving Miller. The first was a heated argument between Miller and a male patron that began as banter but ended in the actor putting the man in a chokehold and later slapping him. We just brush it off as two friends getting drunk and getting into a fight. It's Iceland. This happens twice a week. Not how Ezra Miller does it. That, he takes it to a different level. He takes it up to 11. But the next altercation in which Miller assaulted a young woman at the bar was harder to discount. The incident grabbed global headlines when footage of Miller placing the woman in a chokehold and then pushing her to the ground went viral online in early April 2020. Let's just play that video again right now just to refresh your memory. Learn it? Did you want to fight? Is that the deal? Whoa, bro, 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 bro. Fight? There you go. Soon after the incident, Variety spoke with the woman Miller assaulted. She recently confirmed that her comments could be printed for this article. She asked to remain anonymous pattern out of the concern for her privacy as she's telling her story publicly for the first time. According to three sources, the woman had been speaking to Miller at the bar prior to the quarrel. She said she inquired about the actor's feet visible in flip-flops after noticing some wounds, which Miller explained were battle scars from a fight. After discussing how he got them, she began to walk away, but turned around and joked, but just so you know, I could take you in a fight, Miller replied. You really want to fight? And the woman told him to meet her in the smoking area in two minutes. Fight, 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 fight. Eventually, Miller confronted her outside the bar. I think it was just fun and games, but then it wasn't, she said. Learn it? Did you want to fight? Is that the deal? Sentiment echoed by another woman who alleges in an interview with Variety that after a warm two-year relationship with Miller, mostly via text message, the actor came to her Berlin apartment late one evening in February 2020 at her invitation. They hadn't seen each other since they had a consensual sex encounter in 2020, but after a friendly interaction, Miller's mood sharply turned when he, she told him that they couldn't smoke inside her home. That just set him off, Nadia said. I asked him to leave about 20 times, maybe more. He started insulting me. It became so, so stressful for me. He was going around my house, looking at everything, touching everything, spreading tobacco leaves on all the... 
spreading tobacco leaves on the floor. It felt disgusting and very intrusive. The situations this guy seems to get himself into is just so funny to me. It's just, it's not even just normal harassments things. Rubbing tobacco leaves. And then in another situation, the couple that bailed him out of jail, he said he would end them and their whore wife. <laughs> it's just next level. After roughly an hour of pleading, she finally convinced Miller to leave once she called the police. The incident left her deeply disturbed. While she is clear that she never felt at risk of sexual assault that night in her apartment, she believed the actor could somehow attack me physically. I totally felt unsafe. This is not just the choked woman speaking out. This is another assault victim <laughs> at this point. They are coming out of the woodworks. To me, each one of these individual assault stories and grooming stories seem to have a consistent pattern. Nadia realized she wasn't alone in her experience with the actor. Quotes, it seems to be a pattern, she said. He jet sets abuse. Now, after all that, let's just to clarify, I've had to do a little unraveling here so you don't have to. It's a little hard to follow. There's so many different issues. So let's just get a quick timeline of the events right now. April 2020, Iceland, the first bar assault reported by the bartender, didn't call the police in that situation. April 2020, second bar assault in Iceland. This is where Ezra Miller choked the lady. February 2020, Germany, trashed ex-lover's apartment. March 28th, 2022, Hawaii, third bar assault, so this is a trend. This is where he assaulted somebody that was doing karaoke through the mic stand at her. March 29th, the very next day, the couple that bailed him out broke into their apartment, trashed their apartment, and then threatened them and said, I will end you and your whore wife. Now, June, this is a bad month for you, bro. This is a bad month for Ezra. June 10th, 2020. First parents come out and file a protective order citing grooming of their now 18-year-old Gibson Iron Eyes. Grooming that started way back when she was only 12. June 16th, the second set of parents came out and filed a protective order against Miller citing grooming of their now 12 year old child and june 23rd a mother and her three children are now being held at his vermont farm with guns weed and bullets hanging around next to fluffy animals that was all of the updates i hope that you enjoyed it and uh, i think i deserve some kind of uh, medal for going deep into this story because it is, it is mentally taxing you know i don't feel great looking at this freak's face every <laughs> So I'm sure tomorrow another crazy story will come out that Ezra Miller took a dildo and was flipping it around on top of Mount Rushmore or something. So I want you to comment below what you think the next crazy situation Ezra Miller will find himself in. Best guesses down below. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. Thank you to the channel members. And I will see you next time Ezra Miller does something insanely crazy. Thank you, channel members. Every last single one of you. There's a lot of you at the Biden dollar menu level. I need to find a better economical way to display all the names because there are so many. We're going to be sitting here for 20 minutes just reading all these names because you guys are freaking awesome. Look, I appreciate the fact that you guys will take a couple dollars, throw them in my direction, and show me some support. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. And I keep saying awesome, but it's because you're freaking awesome, okay? There's so many names. Level two, the Knights of Knee. I can't give you any more pass than those two letters. Anything past that, it's up to you. Level three, eight ball cultists. There's only four of you, but it's very secret. Level four, top secret Uber Chads. You guys are the best. Thank you so much for supporting me. And you guys stay Chad.